How's it going everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're covering Combat Evolve's version of the most iconic weapon in the Halo series, the MA5B Assault Rifle. So, before we begin, let's once again look into the history of this weapon. Once again, not much is known about the development of these rifles. However, we do once again know that they are produced as well as presumably designed by Mizraya Armory. The MA5 subseries, which is the series the MA5B belongs to, has been the standard issue rifle for the UNSC Armed Forces for 121 years by this current point in the Halo timeline, starting with the UNSC Army's MA37 being introduced in 2437. However, the MA series rifles, being the greater series that the MA5 belongs to, have been in service for much longer than that but for exactly how long is unknown. Needless to say, by the time of the MA5B's development, the MA series assault rifles have more than proven their ability in combat, with the only main complaints about the weapon being its varying precision between models and the overall weight of the weapon. The MA5B, by this current point in the Halo timeline, has seen action during pre-Human Covenant War insurrectionist movements all the way up until the modern era of Halo, with its most notable usage taking place during the year 2552 the year of the Halo event, seeing action in everything from the fall of Reach to the end of the Human Covenant War, proving its reliability and ruggedness during these brutal events. But how exactly did this weapon prove itself? How does it compare to our current arsenal? And would this weapon be a worthy addition to our own military in the present day? Well, to answer these questions, we must once again look into the specs of this rifle. The MA-5B is a bullpup rifle. This essentially means that the mag and loading mechanisms are located behind the trigger. This is done to give the projectile a longer barrel while keeping a relatively smaller profile to achieve better precision. This also helps give the rifle a better balance, with most of the weight being located to the back, where the weapon's going to be shouldered. Operation-wise, the assault rifle is gas-operated and air-cooled, using systems similar to the ones that we see in the modern L85A2 rifle, the standard issue rifle for the British Armed Forces. Meaning once again, humanity has had hundreds of years to develop this technology and perfect it. This, coupled with the weight and sleek design, make a MA-5B a considerably resilient weapon on the battlefield. As far as its ammunition goes, the MA-5 series all fire a 7.62 NATO armor piercing round, otherwise known as a 762 by 51 M118. For a weapon in the Halo universe, this is surprisingly realistic. Most weapons fire a massive round compared to the modern day weaponry we have. This is not to say that the round isn't big compared to most of our standard issue assault rifles, which normally fire a 5.56 NATO round. However, we do have a number of rifles used today that have variants which fire the 7.62 NATO round, which is why this round has a NATO designation. Some rifles that use this ammunition include the SCAR H, the HK417, the Mark 14, M39, and M240 series, with many more both in the military and civilian markets. The MA-5B excels as a close quarter assault rifle, carrying a 60 round box magazine and being able to fire at a rate of 900 rounds per minute, which is absolutely insane. Ignoring just the incredibly fast rate of fire, I just can't get over the whole 60 round box mag thing. I mean, I'm already 100% positive this is not possible. But I gotta point out, somebody had to meet and hammer out these ideas with Mizraya Armory. <laughs> I gotta imagine it must have went something like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, all I want to know is, what do you want out of this new assault rifle? What would make this the most combat effective for the ground troops? Okay, okay. Now, let me ask you one more question. Where do you propose all of this ammunition is gonna go?
This massive ammo capacity and high rate of fire make this weapon highly effective in most CQB situations as mentioned earlier. Couple this with the modular design of the MA5B being able to accept attached shotguns and grenade launchers, plus the rifle's low profile make this rifle superb for fending off borders on UNSC ships. Hence why this rifle was specifically favored by the UNSC Navy and Marine Corps. Additionally, this as well as the rest of the MA5 series feature a digital ammo counter with a MA5B specifically featuring a compass. Fun fact, the compass's arbitrary north in Halo Combat Evolve points to the planet Threshold, which is the big gas giant right next to the ring, also where the heretic leader is killed in Halo 2. The more you bro. So, does the MA5B stack up well against our modern arsenal, and should we look into developing a weapon like this for our modern militaries? Well. The short answer is no, absolutely not. Why? Well, let me explain. Ignoring the completely impossible magazine capacity, the MA5 series being a bullpup designed to begin with is rather polarizing in this modern era. Some militaries favor them, like Britain for example, and are more willing to use them as standard issue firearms, however nations like the United States and Russia definitely don't prefer them, instead opting for the more conventional and familiar designs of the AR and AK series respectively. Another thing being the MA5B's purpose. The MA5B, as mentioned earlier, is almost exclusively a CQB weapon, and doesn't really work well outside of this role. See, the MA5B, despite not having a cannon maximum effective range, I estimate it to be about 100 yards or 91.44 meters, using burst fire. This is completely pathetic given modern firearms with similar roles like the SCAR-H, which have a maximum effective range of about 328 yards or 300 meters. On top of this, the MA-5B is also noted for being rather heavy in order to reduce recoil and muzzle rise, as well as the amount of ammunition used in it. These were the cause of many of the main complaints by the troops using this rifle. So in conclusion, the MA-5B just doesn't stack up well compared to the weaponry we already have today with many similar weapons almost completely outclassing the MA-5B in range, precision, and weight. So, with that said, there just really isn't a place for such a weapon in our modern times. Or really ever, honestly. Can I get an F in the comments, please, my boys? An F in the comments. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, this time around I actually made some uh, improvements to the video, let me know if you noticed them. Yeah, I actually went and took some feedback from a whole bunch of people that I know, and uh, yeah, I'm relatively proud with how the way this turned out. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and I'll see you in the next one.